I'm Martin Tyler, and you're listening to Harry Simeon. I told you this would happen, didn't I? No less than 15 minutes after I finished the last edition of the Chronicles of Aguna podcast live, Arsenal have made the announcement regarding Oleksandr Zinchenko, the Ukrainian international midfielder slash left back, depending on what way you look at it, is officially now an Arsenal player. And we're going to be taking you through the announcement and reacting to the news that has just broken. I say news. Was it really news? No, we expected it. We knew it was coming, but now it's official. Now it's done and dusted. And now hopefully Arsenal can turn their attentions in the transfer market elsewhere. Let's get into it. What have Arsenal had to say? Uh, this is the announcement on the club's official website. Alexander Zinchenko has joined us on a long-term contract from Manchester City. The 25-year-old brings huge experience of the Premier League and international football to our squad, having made 128 appearances for Manchester City and playing 52 times for his country, Ukraine. 128 appearances is a lot for a side of Manchester City standard, let's be honest. And over 50 caps for your country, pretty impressive too. Uh, Alex developed through, they call him Alex, which is interesting. His name's Alexander, but it seems that kind of the general thing is to refer to him as Alex because I noticed that Pep Guardiola was doing that as well uh, when he was talking about him in his press conference just before the move was announced. Alex developed through the youth academy at Ukrainian club Shakhtar Donetsk, moving to FC Ufa in Russia in 2015. After 31 appearances with the Russian club, he signed for Manchester City in June 2016, spending the 2016-17 season on loan at Dutch side PSV Eindhoven before returning to City the following season. Left-sided player Alex, who is comfortable operating in midfield and defence, has won both the Premier League and League Cup four times. He's also won the FA Cup once and played in the 2021 UEFA Champions League final. Now, notice the wording there. It's really interesting that Arsenal say he's comfortable in playing in both midfield and and defence. So if there was any question about whether or not versatility was right at the top of the list and, and whether or not versatility was largely the reason that Arsenal uh, went for Alexander Zinchenko, then there you have it in black and white. Mikel Arteta alluded to it the other day as well. He didn't want to commit to saying that Zinchenko was coming in as a left back or that Zinchenko was coming in as a midfielder. I think he genuinely sees him as somebody who can play in either of those roles. And that's really, really interesting because we kept getting told early on in the summer, in particular, when these links first emerged, that Alexander Zinchenko wouldn't want to play at left back, wouldn't want to play in defence at whichever club he ended up. And that could end up being a deal breaker. It seems, though, that he's obviously agreed to join Arsenal despite Arsenal being very clear about the fact that he may well end up playing in both of those positions. So perhaps that information in the first place was, uh, was miss, uh, I don't know, was, was wrong. I mean, I'm trying to think of a smart word, but simple. Maybe it was just wrong. Uh, technical director Edu said, I'm very pleased to see how we're working as a team here in the club. We put a plan together early and Alexander Zinchenko was a main focus on our list. We're pleased to have Alex with us now because he has the attributes which I'm sure are going to put our squad at a different level. Again, Mikel Arteta and, um, and Edu obviously um, identifying targets before the summer, making sure uh, that they were able or in the best position at least to go and try and execute their plan as best as possible. Edu alluding to the fact that Zinchenko was very much on that plan. But a very interesting line there from Edu, who says, I'm very pleased to see how we're working as a team here in the club, suggesting that this was a concerted effort to convince Alexander Zinchenko that this was the place for him to cough up the money, which obviously would have been at the feet and, and you know, at the behest of the owners. And obviously Mikel Arteta um, must have played some role using his existing relationship in order to get Zinchenko to the club. Mikel Arteta had this to say. He said, we're so happy Alex has joined us. He's a player that I personally know really well and continue to follow him after my time at Manchester City. Alex is a high quality player who will give us options. And again, the magic word, 
versatility. It's not only about the positions he can play, but as well, the versatility he will give us in attack and defence. He's a person with great human qualities and character, and I'm delighted that everyone has made this huge effort to bring Alex to the club. The club statement goes on to say that Alex becomes our fifth new signing into our men's first team squad this season. He joins Gabriel Jesus, Marquinhos, Matt Turner and Fabio Vieira as new arrivals to the club. He's already joined up with the squad at our pre-season training camp in Orlando and his squad number will be announced in due course. Everyone at Arsenal welcomes Alex and his family to the club. The transfer is subject to the completion of the regulatory process. So there you have it, the announcement. Alexander Zinchenko is a gunner officially. Got to get used to calling him Alex. Is that a thing? It seems to be. Um, but again, look, really, really interesting words in the announcement, words uh, to the effect of the fact that this was very much a, a concerted effort, as I said, uh, a group effort, a team effort to make this deal happen, to get this deal over the line and to go out and get a player that they clearly identified as a target quite a while ago. And look, you know, I know there'll be cynics out there and critics out there who will say, well, of course, they're going to say that they always wanted him. Of course, they're going to say this was part of the plan. They're going to want to make themselves look as good um, and as efficient as possible. But ultimately, you know, when you look at the transfer business that we've done over the last two summers now, you have to say that it's clear that there is a lot more planning, that there is a lot more um work going into player identification. We're not just looking at players in terms of their ability on the pitch, but we're looking about at what they're going to bring off of it. We're looking at their characters. And obviously, as a manager, if you're really big on character, you're going to lean towards players that you already know, because therefore you don't have those questions in your mind about that side of things. Hence, Gabriel Jesus, hence Zinchenko. Um, but yeah, it's clear that there's a lot more planning going in. And it's clear now that we've got much better at executing these things. Were there players this summer that Arsenal went for and didn't get? Yeah, there are. And there probably still will be more. Um, you know, that's just the way it goes. You don't acquire every single target that you identify, but there will be people who are higher up your list than others. And there will be cutoff points with regards to the price that you feel is worthwhile paying for certain targets as well. And sometimes walking away from a deal can be the right thing, no matter how much you like the player, no matter how much you rate the player. Um, and I think in hindsight, we did the right thing now with Rafinha. Um, when you think about all the other positions that need addressing within the team and you think about what that was going to end up costing. And actually, you know, we walked away from it at a point where we thought it was possible. But, you know, when you look at the fact that Barcelona were the ones that ended up with him, actually, was it ever possible? Probably not. And so Arsenal were right even aside from the money, to walk away and not waste their time chasing a player that clearly uh, had his heart set on a move elsewhere. But we've got Zinchenko in the door now, versatility being the big buzzword um, in this piece. I say buzzword because critics of it call it a buzzword. For me, it's, you know, it's it's the key point. It's the key it's, it's the key thing that Zinchenko brings to this side. You know, is he an outstanding left back? No. Is he an outstanding midfielder? Could be, but he hasn't shown that yet. So it is very much, um, <coughs> I beg your pardon, it is very much uh, at the top in terms of the reasons why Arsenal felt this was the right signing and a signing worthwhile making. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. And we'll be back very, very soon with more Arsenal content. Until next time, take care. I'm Martin Tyler. And you're listening to Harry Simeon.